We'll guide you through how to make a Power World server for free. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, on Power World, just go and click on Join Multiplayer Game. Go to the bottom left and click on How to Set Up a Server like so. You'll get taken to this page here. And the easiest option to deploy the server is using the Windows Steam option. There are some requirements which you should read through here. Now just before we get any further, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. So with this method of making a PowerWorld server, you're essentially running it from your computer. But if you go and buy a server from Apex, then they're going to host it on their own systems and you're going to have access to a 24 seven server. And you can also go and get a lot more resources as well, because your computer will only be able to handle so much. So if you're interested, click on the link in the pinned comment or in the description below. There's actually a discount on at the moment as well. Scroll right to the bottom and go and click on all games like so. Scroll down and you'll go and see Power World. Press on order now and you can go and get your server. But if you wish to go and make one for free and host it on your own computer, then we can go and continue. So make sure you meet the requirements here. If you don't, always go and check out Apex Hosting. And then what we need to do is go and open up Steam, just like so. So Steam is where you would have got Power World from and come over to the left in the library and you want to go when where it says games, make sure tools is selected. And then what we can do is we want to go and search for Power World dedicated server. There it is, so you can click on it. We can then go and click install, like so, choose where you want to install it, and it will then go and start downloading. Go and wait. After it's finished downloading, go and click on launch, just like so. You'll go and get this pop-up. Just select play Power World dedicated server and click on play. It'll then go and start. And if you see this pop up here, this means the server has successfully started. So then what we can do is go back to Power World, just like so. And you then want to go and click on join multiplayer game. And this should already be correct at the bottom because this is just your local host address. And then you just got the default port. We can go and press on connect like so and it should now go and connect. And just like that, you're now in your Power World server and you can go and start playing. Now it is important to note that the address we just entered is the local host address and we can go and use that because it's on our own computer. For other people to go and join, you'll need to go and do something called port forwarding and that basically makes your server accessible to people um, outside of your network. And to do that, you'll need to go into your router settings. So that does vary depending upon your router, but you should be able to go and find a guide online. And for the server to remain online, you'll need to go and keep this open as well. So when you close it, your server will then go offline. And that's why I really like using Apex Hosting. So a big shout out to them for sponsoring this video. 